Hello and welcome to my video. This is going to be a quick overview of the Dell USB 3.0 docking station D3100. We'll open it up and give you a quick tour of this tiny little thing. Tiny little beautiful thing. Now you might be asking why do I need a docking station. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you why you need a docking station. Now this is not just any typical docking station. This is a work of art. Very beautiful. Elegant looking as you can see. Very small it will hide pretty much anywhere as you can see that it's USB 3.0 so uh, why you might need it uh, this particular uh, docking station comes with display link technology what does that mean that means that it gives you three as you can see video outputs from one single USB 3.0 connection so you can plug in three different monitors, two HDMI, one Display Port. So you can have a, you know if you want multiple monitors from let's say a Surface. You know you don't. Uh, most of these uh, tablets these days are pretty powerful. So if you want to use this as a tablet on the go, and then when you come home you want to you know for play or whatever, and then when you come home or come to the office you want uh, you know you don't want to work on this tiny little screen I mean it's 12 inch screen is good for you know touch and blah 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 or use it on the go great for that lightweight it's very powerful Core i5 CPU in here uh, but you know the screen is not that big so you, uh, for pro productivity the screen is not enough so if you want more than one uh, monitors uh, you can uh, you don't really have to you know uh, sacrifice your productivity for you know mobility uh, you can definitely just plug in a USB since this comes surface comes with USB 3.0 uh, well surface pro comes with USB 3.0 you can just plug in one of these into it and voila you can use your keyboard regular size keyboard uh, you can plug in multiple monitors and have uh, a whole lot of real estate to work with you know you, for productivity is perfect uh, I started using uh, multiple monitors about three four years ago and now I cannot work with one monitor because it's just not doable uh, so you know you can have your uh, benefit of multiple monitors will let you do a lot of things at once copy and paste kind of stuff you can have you know multiple web browsers open. You can have a video playing on one while you're working on another one. Uh, you can have uh, you know one program running here, another program running there. You know, so whatever you want. I have currently I have uh, <coughs> I have four monitors uh, set up. I'll show you. Uh, crap. Let's see. So I have four monitors set up here. It's perfect. As you can see for my use, I have one, two, three. So I have three 27 inch and then I have this ultra wide on the top that I usually use for movies. And it works great. Uh, I have my uh, I don't know, Outlook running on one monitor. Uh, we do a lot of eBay and Amazon uh, uh, sales and also on the website so I can monitor traffic on my site, traffic uh, monitor my uh, YouTube channel, uh, all kinds of stuff from you know tiny little computer that a mini ITX uh, computer that I have built uh, so I can plug in all four monitors uh, in it and voila I got multiple monitors now you might be asking why I got this one of the reasons I got it I have multiple computers on my desk like I have this uh, tablet that sometimes I use I have stuff on there that I need to access 
uh, or just use it sometimes, you know. Oops. And then I have my HP ProBook laptop that sometimes I use on the road. So, you know, I don't want to use this keyboard when I'm at my uh, office. So, I just unplug instead of plugging in the cable, USB cable, monitor cables, and um, you know the keyboard and mouse and printer and everything separate I can just plug all of them in into one tiny little dock and then one USB uh, port and plug it into the back of the computer I have all my monitors up and running I plug it into the back of the tablet I have all my monitors running and uh, I have access to all my peripherals uh, I don't have to do a whole lot of plugging in and plugging out but that's one of the reasons I got this, uh, and that's what you can use it for if if if, if you choose to. Uh, another thing is my computer is quite far away from my uh, uh, my uh, desk. Well, not my, it's on my desk, but you know it's a little far away. I don't want to get up and plug in uh, you know my flash drives and external hard drives and stuff like that to the computer in and out, in and out, in and out because I have to do a whole lot of that. Um, so it makes it easier. I can have it sitting right in front of me. If I need to plug something in, it has three USB 3.0 ports here uh, and two USB 3.0 ports in the back. Uh, Ethernet jack. Uh, my uh, tablet does not come with Ethernet. So hardware, I mean, uh, hard connections are always faster than Wi Fi. So I can just plug in an Ethernet cable in here and I'm good to go. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Headphone jack, audio jack, all of those are right in front of me. So if I need to plug in a headphone, I can. Um, yeah, that's right. And all of these are uh, powered with the, the AC adapter. So there's plenty of juice in here. You can plug in as many. Uh, peripherals as you want, uh, external hard drives, whatever, will power all of them on, uh, no problems whatsoever. So let, let me give you a quick tour of the, I went kind of off topic of the, the unit. Uh, here's the front, you got a headphone jack right here, USB 3.0 port, another USB, another, so you got three USB 3.0 ports here, then you have two USB port, 2.0 ports, an Ethernet jack, two HDMI and one display port. This uh, USB 3.0 port is an uh, input uh, port. I mean, uh, out, I don't know, output port or what, input port, whatever you call it. But this is a, a female connection that will connect, actually connect it to a computer, uh, laptop, tablet, whatever you have. M most of the time, I have four or five computers running here. You know, I have a server and whatever. I have a, a server running. I have. A, you know my main computer then I have a video editing computer um, uh, that's running as well I'm gonna have six monitors here so I need uh, I mean my current system supports four monitors uh, so in order instead of installing another graphics card in there I just bought this uh, to give me three extra monitors for productivity um, so that's why I got this and I can plug it into any of my other peripherals uh, if I want to. When I need when I need to go home, I just unplug my tablet, and I'm on my way. If I need to transfer something uh, from an external hard drive or whatever, I just plug it in here. Boom! Transfer my data. Take my tablet and go. Go home. I can work at home, whatever. Uh, so that's what that's why I got it. Uh, that's why I got this. Uh, so that's pretty much it thanks for watching I'll have a setup video pretty soon it comes with a software uh, that lets you manage this thing I'll have a little documentation on there device drivers and documentations uh, so yeah thanks for watching I'll have a quick setup uh, video uh, soon uh, probably the next couple of days uh, after I set this up um, so stay tuned please rate subscribe ask any question if you have any uh, if you have any comments 
please let me know I do like when you guys send me a message so I'll respond as soon as I can that is pretty much it thanks for watching have a great day oh please click on the little as the pop up on the bottom it helps us a lot um, if you like more videos and suggestions for future videos let me know I'll have them for you thank you have a great day oh this one if you buy from Dell uh, directly it costs about 130 bucks I purchased this on uh, eBay for 79 or 74 dollars somewhere on there so three extra monitors for 74 dollars I could have spent that on a, a graphics card but then I wouldn't have had you know the ability to connect it to other devices so this this is this is uh, a great tool uh, I'm building a new mini ITX uh, computer it's based off the x99 uh, platform uh, just got the uh, Asrox uh, mini ITX uh, board so I'll have a review on that too stay tuned for that uh, and the problem with mini ATX is it only has one PCI Express slot uh, so I can either you know get a bigger system which I don't want I don't have a whole lot of space here uh, or use this to connect it I mean the graphics are the, the graphics are that I'm gonna, I'm gonna install in there will support three months sorry my camera is over there I'm used to looking here um, I'm, I'm, I'm used to uh, you know multiple monitors so the graphics uh, the graphics card that's in uh, that, that will be installed in my new system my new video editing rig uh, uh, only supports three graphics uh, three monitors so for three other monitors I'm gonna need this so that's why I got that and it'll let me uh, connect it to other devices sometimes I go off topic but that's how my videos are they're generic I don't edit them I shoot them and upload them so if you like that kind of videos feel free to watch them come back I would love for you to watch my videos have a great day if you don't like them I would say go fuck yourself but I won't say it um, if you suggest that I cut these videos short some people do complain they think well you wasted my time blah 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 well fucker if, if you're on YouTube you're not doing anything else anyway you're watching videos so how the fuck did I waste your time don't watch my fucking videos fucking idiots there are a couple of idiots on here uh, that have commented like well, you wasted my time why are your videos are so long? Blah 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 blah. Go watch somebody else's video, fuckface. Have a great day.